This idea just occurred to me one day, so I made it. And that's the thing I love about being an engineer. If you have an idea about a thing, and that thing doesn't exist, you can just will it into existence. So here's my big announcement. I have been secretly working for nearly a year to create a month-long course that will teach you to use engineering and science to bring your own creative ideas to life. That sounds awesome. Just shut up already. Take my money. There I was, watching a Mark Rober video, and he announces his creative engineering class. You know who Mark Rober is, right? Maybe you don't know the name, but I bet you've seen one of his videos. One of his most popular videos is his glitter bomb video where he gets back at the porch pirates for stealing his packages. This guy took a package from my porch, and now he's about to open it in his car, but what he doesn't know is this is a custom-built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras, and it's about to unleash a pound of the world's finest glitter, along with some other surprises. But under Mark's class is on a site called Monthly. I had not heard of Monthly before taking this class. Welcome to my Monthly class. They offer 11 different classes that are focused on learning how to create something like music, baking, painting, or even making custom sneakers. They seem to all follow the same format or structure which supports Monthly's idea of creating something worth sharing with the goal of each class to learn how to create that something. For Mark's class, this something was a mechanical or electrical engineered project. Think a catapult that launches M&Ms or a robot that makes art. Mark broke his class into three sections, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and advanced engineering and storytelling. Each section contains five to six videos for about five hours of instructions from Mark. He covers the engineering design process with a strong emphasis on brainstorm, research, prototype, final build. He repeats that lots of times. I did enjoy watching these videos and seeing how Mark tackles a project. I found his process very familiar to how I've approached developing software in my whole professional career. So it was a good reinforcement to the process, but I can't say it taught me anything new. Another concept that seems to be a big part of the monthly structure is peer groups. When the class starts, they group you of 20 or so other people to form your peer group. When monthly states share your progress and receive personalized feedback, they are talking about these peer groups and their feedback. Don't assume that the feedback is coming from the instructor, at least not from Mark's class. Maybe the other classes are smaller and the instructors can have more interaction with their students. In Mark's class, we would receive a notification anytime Mark commented on someone's project. For the first few days, this was very motivating as it would build your hopes he would also comment on your project at some point. But as class went on and as I learned that there were over 5,000 students in the class, those hopes faded. Looking back now that the class is over, I can see that Mark commented 82 times total. 28 of those were done on the first day. He made another 37 comments on the first project. Then this dropped to only 11 comments for the second class project and finally just 7 comments on the final project. Not sure if it is fair to assume that Mark lost interest with the class over time or not. I do think it is fair to say that it was not a realistic expectation to think you would interact with Mark when there were that many people in the class. And Muffley does try and set the expectation in their materials that you will not interact with Mark. So I don't fault them here. But again, the price of the class is such that you have high hopes of interacting with Mark. I think this might be one of the areas that Muffley could improve on to add more value for what they charge for the class. I get that monthly is priced in their class based on the popularity of the instructor, but you get access to a lot more classes for less money on, say, a site like Skillshare. And it's not like you're getting personal interaction with monthly instructors. So for this price, I would still expect some kind of group moderator provided by monthly that provides some kind of feedback or at least encourages the peer group to be more interactive. My peer group had 23 people. Just a little over half of them didn't seem to do anything in the group other than watch the videos, as you can see each person's activity on their feed. And even a few appeared to not do anything. I assume maybe they dropped out of the class. As part of the class assignment, we would be paired with three others to provide them feedback on their project. This structure made sense as trying to give feedback to all 23 people could be overwhelming but you don't want anyone to not receive any feedback. There were a handful, including myself, that really tried to provide feedback to more than just the three assigned to us. Again, I think these peer groups are what sets Muffly apart from other learning sites, but I'm not sure for this class it added enough value to justify the cost. So then what did I get out of the class? I did enjoy Mark's videos and seeing him build stuff. There are a few tips I picked up that I can use in my projects. I really enjoyed his video on using CAD software, I've been using Fusion 360 myself for a couple years for creating parts to cut on my CNC and now also to create parts for my 3D printer. And his video taught me some new things that I've already started using. I enjoyed his video on how he edits his YouTube videos. His suggestions make sense, but I still need to figure out my own style for my videos and then see what of his style I can apply. 
I created just one project for the class and not the three like the course calls for. Main reason for this was that I just didn't come up with any good project ideas for the first section and I didn't have enough time to build the project I wanted to for the third section. But I did build something pretty awesome for the electrical engineering section. I created this magical Alexa Spotify CD box thing. I'll put a link here to my project video for those that want to see it. It's really cool, you should go check it out. But I think maybe the biggest thing I got out of the class was the enjoyment of helping others on their projects. I ended up helping three others in the class with their Arduino projects. They had asked the group for some help and I was able to create some videos and write some sample programs to help them move forward on their projects. Receiving their appreciation for the help felt great. And even having a mom of one of the kids in the class tell me how much she appreciated the positive encouraging comments I was leaving for her kid made me feel really good. Being able to help someone else find enjoyment in a hobby that I've enjoyed for most of my life was really rewarding. So was the class worth taking? Yes. Did I get my money's worth out of it? Maybe. Did I regret taking the class? No. Do I recommend others take the class? Yes, as long as you go into it with the right expectations. And you've already got some experience building things and using Arduinos. Because this is definitely not a beginner's class I would start with. Well, if you watched the video this far, thanks. I will leave a link below to all the videos that I created and posted into my peer group just for those who want to give a better idea of what the class was like. If you like making things or just watching others make stuff in their shop, check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. Every time someone subscribes to my channel, I get to annoy my family with subscriber count updates. Appreciate you watching my video. Now you go make something. Others build stuff in their shop. Why can I not memorize this thing?